Hello. Uh, in this video, what we are going to look around is a little bit of conceptual development of this uh, particular uh, formula. We know that circumference equals to 2 pi r. Now, uh, the circumference upon radius is a constant. We are not considering, say, for example, c by r equal to 2 pi or whatever. We are just considering this to be a constant. And we know that uh, how far or how bigger the circle would be, circumference upon radius is always constant. Now, through my research, what I have found is that very little books or any concepts of videos, etc., gives you an idea for the definitive reason that why circumference upon radius is a constant, which means that whatever be the size of the circle, as long as it grows bigger and bigger, it's uh, divided by the radius would always be a constant. Now, for that, what I have done is that I have two, I have drawn two con concentric circles. The red one is the bigger one and the blue one is a smaller one. I have taken a kind of a point O and I have drawn equidistance of four lines which you can call arc or uh, anything which are, which are all equal to each other. And these are ABCD which is the capital which represents the red circle and ABCD which represents the smaller circle. Now if you notice that because they are quite equidistant from each other, what I can do is that I can write, for example, considering uh, if I consider OA, this is the smaller circle, so I can always uh, write that OA, that is radius, is equal to OB and it is also equal to OC and it is equal to OD. Right? This OA equals to OB equals to OC equals to OD. And also what we can tell is that the bigger radius, that is the O and this red, red part, that is OA, is equal to OB, is also equal to OC, and it is also equal to OD. So as far as the circle and the uh, figures are concerned, we can, uh, we can simply see this as because they are equidistant, they are equal to each other. Now just watch carefully what I am right now doing. What I am doing is that I am joining these two points. Okay, I'm joining this, I'm joining this part, I'm joining this part. So as you see, if I go on and on with this circle, it will create an n-sided polygon. It will create an n-sided polygon. In the same way, I am joining this A to B, this B to C, and C to D, and so on for the inner circle. Clear till now. So what I can see is that this triangle triangle OAB so let me write it for you the triangle OAB triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle right this is an isosceles triangle OAB and because so I let me put it in this way is isosceles is isosceles because why triangle OSB is isosceles, you can very well find it out from my earlier videos which you have learned that the two adjacent signs are equal. So I can say that for example OA will be equal to OB, right? So angle OAB, this angle, this particular angle is also equal to angle OBA because they are adjacent angles. So I can write that angle OAB, angle OAB will be equal to angle OBA because it is an isosceles triangle. So it f follows from the proof. Now as because it is uh, difficult to visualize from there what it would be like the isosceles triangle being too small. So let me just quickly draw a small isosceles triangle which will be easier for you to view. So here is my isosceles triangle. Okay. And we just name them as it is in the circle. So we put this one. I think this one is clear. Yeah. So I put this one as AB, right? This is the one, AB, this one, right? And I put it this one as AB, that is a smaller one, AB, right? And what I will do is that because these two sides are equal, this AB and these two sides are equal, so these angles will also be equal. The adjacent angles will also be equal. So from this particular part, what I can, what I can write is that uh, OA, that is, uh, if I take this one, O and the small a, so let me write it as O small a, uh, I am taking the ratio divided by, divided by O capital A, O capital A, that is this one, O a and this big one, O a, right, uh, will be equal to a b, that is the capital a b, and its ratio would be also equal to small a b. 
So this one would be equal to this one, right? These are isosceles triangles, so it would be equal to this one. So I can put it in this way. OA upon OA equal to AB upon AB, right? Now what I can also tell is that that this but I have taken just note that this bigger radius which I have taken is R and the smaller radius is R. Now because OA this part equals to OA by OA equals to AB by AB so I can obviously write from here it follows that the capital R that means the bigger radius the ratio of the bigger radius upon and if I take the upon the smaller radius that is small r would be also equal to AB by AB yeah that is that is capital AB by AB right by AB why because we have already seen that what OA is so this OA is the big R and this OA is the small r so this OA this one and this one so we can obviously write it as capital R by small r which is equal to be AB by AB so we get the we get the first first relation so this this comes with the first relation now you have to understand one thing what I'm trying to do over here is that if I extend the sides of this polygon A B C D and say for example I extend this to join this and this to join this and this to join this and it goes on right so what it happens it uh, what it happens over here is that it is creating an n-sided polygon isn't it a b c d e f and it goes on until the limit so we create an n-sided polygon from the outer circle similar things happen with a b c d and if i join this 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 so the smaller circle will also be uh, an n-sided polygon right so now what follows from this particular equation is that if we take the perimeter because see uh, we uh, for a polygon we have to take a perimeter right so we can write it as perimeter say for example if I write it in this way so I put it in small like perimeter of and of the polygon a b c d perimeter of polygon a b c d dot 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 whole divided by the smaller one the perimeter of a b c d dot 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 is equal to what we know by the formula of perimeter is the uh, L multiplied the length multiplied by side so we put it as N because it will go on till N multiplied by AB obviously because this is AB taking the ratio of N number of polygons with AB this one this is the lower one what we get from here what we get from here is that this AB we know it is R right from this particular equation and this AB is also equals to R so I can obviously write it is equals to NR divided by the ratio of NR the N gets cancelled out right now we are coming to the final this is the this would be the final equation so from this what it follows is that the circumference of the bigger circle let me show you once more so that it becomes clearer for you here is the circumference of the bigger circle CR right so I can tell it that, that this is this this would be the circumference and this would be the circumference of the blue one would be the smaller one so I can obviously write the circumference of the bigger circle corresponding to its radius so I can write CR by CR the smaller one is always and always equal to its corresponding radius that is the big R divided by R right CR by CR equals to this one divided by this one right the ratio of the corresponding radius and from here what we can therefore write from here what we can therefore write is that we just rearrange it CR by R so I'm just flipping over this sides equals to CR by small r which is always a constant which is always a constant and it can be 2 pi right so I can write it as 2 pi right now this actually concludes the video but I would just like to mention few points over here see what we what I tried to prove in this particular in, the, in this particular proof or this video is that the basic essence rise 
that when you are dividing the bigger circle, when you are dividing the bigger circle into n amount of polygons, when you are dividing the bigger circle to n amount of polygons, and you are dividing the smaller circle to n amount of polygons, you must note that n from here increases. So I can obviously write that n n increases, 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 increases and it goes up to infinity. So if n increases, what is happening at some point of time that the circumference would become equal to the, the equal to the n-sided polygon. So the radius also will become equal to this because we are extending this polygon up to n extent. As you see here, we are extending this polygon and it goes on and on and on until the, 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 the perimeter becomes the circumference. So the most important part of this video is that we, you have to imagine uh, a circle which is being divided into n amount of polygons and this n grows to up to any extent. It goes like this n is growing and growing and growing. It goes up to any extent. It grows. And the, the, these sides of the polygon, these sides of the polygon which we are trying to join, which are creating isosceles triangles, these sides of the polygons will eventually become the circumference. And that is what we have tried to show over here. So you see from here what happens is that the circumference and its corresponding radius, ratio of the corresponding radius becomes the same. And from here we can obviously write that CR by R, this is the constant. So this is something which we call K. And if you want to write it further, if you want to write it further, we can write 2 multiplied by 3.141 or something and it, uh, it gives upon what 6.282 dot 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 dot. So the basic idea of this video was not to arrive at the concept of pi, but, but rather as I'm repeating again and again is that dividing a circle into n-sided polygons and when this n grows up to any extent the total polygon that is the total uh, circumference of the circle becomes equal to the perimeter of the polygon and that is why I have seen you have I have written here perimeter of a b c d dot 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 up to n multiplied by a b which is the side upon perimeter of the smaller circle dot a b c d dot 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 which grows up to n multiplied by the side is obviously equal to the circumference of the bigger circle by the lower circle which obviously the circumference which becomes equal to the big circle and the small circle and which is essentially equal to a constant. <coughs> so I think I have cleared the concept that why we have, we have been reading that the concept of circle, uh, sorry the circumference and uh, upon radius is always a constant deriving from this particular formula C equals to 2R. So the essence is this, dividing a circle into n-sided polygons and uh, when the n grows the total circumference of that polygon uh, becomes equal to the ratio of the radius. So this n-sided polygons perimeter now is equal to the circumference. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that things will become clear for you. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you very much.